Today we're gonna see if I can start a fire with one hand tied behind my back. Well, how's it going folks? Back at it again here, and we are reviewing today the ExoTac Nano Spark, which is a one-handed operational spark wheel to help you start a fire. Now, what's really cool is that it's USA made, made out of aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum, that's always awesome. And then it has inside itself a waterproof compartment with place for one tinder pod. So what I wanted to do today was act as though I had injured one of my hands, so I only had one hand to operate this, any form of a fire steel or lighter or whatever. Now a Bic lighter, obviously one-handed, but what happens if you lose it, it breaks, it runs out of fuel, whatever. Most fire steels are two-handed, but what happens again if I'm injured? So we're gonna do a quick test and see if I can get the fire started and open this thing up with literally one hand tied behind my back and see how it operates because this little bad boy is about $22 for this little thing which in my mind is pretty crazy. Yes, it's USA made, yes, it's aluminum, high quality, all that stuff, but I can get really good, massive fire steels in Sweden and the US with good scrapers for that money or less, which are gonna last way longer, throw much larger sparks, and have an easier time starting fires. So for me personally, the only way that this would have any form of value would be is can I operate this literally if one hand was injured, damaged in some way that I could not operate my fire steel, then maybe this is a good backup to a big lighter. That's really the only area that I see value in this. So today let's go ahead and break this thing down and see if I can do it with one hand tied behind my back. Well, no, that's not me and it's not my twin brother, but it is my brother. After he and I talked a little bit, he decided he wanted to be the one to test out the one-handed capability. So he put one hand behind his back and went to town and I ran the camera for him. And so as we're going through here and you're seeing this whole process being done, I'll also run in a few basic specs for you just so you have some more data on this little piece of kit. This little guy is going to have a weight of 0.6 ounces. Uh, the Flint Striker will do up to 500 strikes. You can purchase extra little flints that you can store in the body along with the little cotton balls, cotton uh, tablets that it has. Uh, that will Every time you buy one of these, there it'll come with a pack of five, and then you can obviously buy those separately. And then the dimensions are gonna be half an inch in diameter by 2.7 inches overall length. So it's very compact. It has a little lanyard hole as well that you could run 550 paracord on to attach to other things, maybe a little carabiner, a key ring, something like that. Sucker free Sunday. Let's go. Way in there. Oh, I don't want that to use that stick. Yeah, come on, buddy. Do it. Do your thing. Do your thing with your life. Yes. Sweet baby Jesus. Nice, dude. So, as you're seeing here, folks, uh, that it, you can do it. You can get it done one handed and you can get that fire going, awesome. which is a big positive. <laughs> Now separately, I did also try to use natural material with this spark wheel and we really couldn't get anything natural uh, with this spark wheel to ignite. We used moss, I've used really fine feather shavings before, grass, and it doesn't seem to produce enough spark. I mean, you'd really have to work on it. Uh, maybe some like char cloth for a flint and steel might catch. Um, but you're going to have a really, really tricky time trying to get anything that's not uh, man-made in the sense of a cotton ball uh, or one of the tinder pods or something like that to catch. And then, of course, you can start any sort of camp stove with the little spark that it offers. But starting a fire with natural materials is going to be next to impossible with all of my testing. Well, guys, there you have it. I hope the video has shown you what it can do. If you are still interested in this after seeing what it can do in the price, we will have links over to Blade HQ, Amazon, GP Knives. A lot of those places will carry uh, ExoTac products and this Nano Spark, as well as a lot of the other stuff that they have. Um, it's always good quality, but for me, I always feel like they're overpriced by, you know, like five to $10, all of the items uh, that they seem to produce. So uh, I think it's a very niche product. I think it's a very narrow focus, but if you feel like you fall in that narrowed focus, awesome, rock on, go for it. Um, if not, 
pass on it, get a good fire steel uh, and a good big lighter. So with that, thank you guys so much. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. Uh, we really appreciate it when you guys follow us over there. It's a good way to see what's up and coming, behind the scenes stuff. It's a fun, different way to interact with me. We do giveaways sometimes and all sorts of different stuff over on the, the social media sites. Uh, subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're th uh, throwing up videos every single week. You can click that um, icon and subscribe and check out another video that we've recently posted up. And finally, guys, always remember, stay equipped. Stay prepared. We'll see you out there.